zodiac mm. is the dog zodiac. Mm. Mm. What do you all feel about the dog zodiac? So far, the dogs, um, the, my dog friends, mm. or even my mom is dog as well. Mm. Uh, they're okay people leh. Yeah. I've never, I've so far all met good dogs. I never met a mad dog before. Mm. 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 So generally, dog zodiacs right uh, are quite loyal people, mm. but at the same time right, they are also quite creative people. Mm. Mm. So having a very very creative year in 2023 right, mm. dogs will be even more creative in 2024. Wow. Mm. Uh, literally, they have what we call the heavenly horse star. Heavenly horse star. Mm. Wow. Huh. So oh, this heavenly horse, horse star right, helps yeah. to boost their creative imagination, mm. which is actually quite important because this boost in imagination right, uh, forces what we call uh, the fire element. Mm -hmm. And this fire element right, is very important for the uh, period 9. So previously we talked about like period 9 being very good for like uh, female creators, yeah. right? Yeah, so period 9 also represents the element of fire as well. Mm -hmm. So this uh, strength in creativity for the dogs, right? If they want to use it very well, they should use it, right, to have a foothold in creative business. Mm -hmm. So, say for example, let's say if you're a designer, mm -hmm. or if you are someone that creates content, right, mm -hmm. or maybe even animation, mm -hmm. uh, or even AI, it mm -hmm. could be a very good career year for you. Then, uh, Chase, if that's the case, right, if uh, those born in the year of the dog, right, are they suitable to start a business in 2024? Mm, that's a very good question. Because whenever we talk about starting a business, right, it is actually a very, very complex decision. Mm. So we cannot just use the zodiac per se. Mm. We need to look at the entire parts of chart. Mm. But even before we delve into the entire chart, right, dogs already presents what we call a Ties with clash, right? Ties with clash, okay. Yeah. Wow. So as we all know that dog clash with dragon, mm. Yes. Yeah, and this kind of clash, right, can bring about emotional instability. Mm. So the point number one is we need to see mm. whether or not this something. instability, right, mm. can affect their wealth luck. Wealth luck. Yes. Okay. What do you my mean? My mother and my brother. My mother is dog. My brother is uh, dragon. They always quarrel. Mm. It's true. Uh. Uh, there is some sort of truth to this, mm -hmm. but definitely we need to see each person's parts of chart. Okay. Mm, to be more exact, right? Uh, studying the entire chart will give us more insights. Mm. Okay. But definitely there are some uh, uh, emotional clashes that can present when these two people meet. Mm. Uh, one of the things that we need to know for starting a business, right, is to understand whether or not this clash involves in what or their skill set. Okay. Let's see if this skill set is a wealth skill set. Mm. Uh, they might suffer from what we call a negative wealth clash. Yeah, so if this wealth is a positive wealth, right, it's still okay. Mm. But if it's a negative wealth, especially that of a negative pian cai, right, uh, that can be an extra bad year for them for starting businesses. Pian cai is really good, yeah. Right? And then negative pian yeah. cai, what does... Yeah, what, what does negative pian cai? I thought pian cai... You go is... and invest <coughs> and then you lose money. Mm, similar. Okay, okay, so let me phrase it in this manner for us to understand. Pian Cai is actually a certain skill set in someone to be able to spot investment Correct. opportunities. Mm. Yep. Mm. But let's say if you have negative Pian Cai, mm -hmm. right, it means that this person is very bad at it, mm -hmm. probably a little bit aggressive, mm -hmm. and might even like to gamble. Okay. Uh, so their viewpoint on investments right, can be very skewed compared to someone who is very good at investing. Mm, so this is what we call negative pian cai. Negative. Now, if they already have negative pian cai, mm. and that dog element and the dragon element is in the wealth element as well, yep. and it still clashes, right? All these different combinations, right, might mean a very bad business year for them. Mm. Mm. So in that sense, uh, it is best to get the entire puzzle chart read before jumping to conclusions whether or not they should start a business. Mm. But on the safe side, probably not. How about those people that are already in business? Mm. Mm. So for those of you guys who are already in business, mm. right, that presents two uh, issues. Mm. The first one is that, right, watch out for unexpected expenses, especially mm. that of uh, wrong investment choices. Mm -hmm. And second thing is that uh, due to this clash, right, it could also bring you emotional instability. So mm. therefore, uh, it is possible for dogs, right, to easily offend other people as well. Mm. Okay? okay. And lastly, right, due to all these additional stress, it is also possible for them to have, uh, you know, health issues, especially that related to their stomach. Stomach. Mm. So. 
for those born in the year of dog, have to watch out for their stomach next year. Lah. Yes, that will be right. Mm. Okay, so uh, take care of your health and manage the stress. Mm. Yeah. And at the same time, right, don't uh, you know, overcommit in your investments, right? And dogs will be able to use their creativity to mm. still have a good career year.